Hello and thanks for watching Gary Teaches Maths. I'm continuing to go through the Edexcel higher tier paper from 2019. This is um, question 18 and it's a question on thirds. So we're asked to express root 3 plus root 12 in the form a root 3 where a is an integer. So we've got to try and simplify this. Um, now the root 3 we can't do anything with. So I'm going to keep that as root 3. But the root 12, we can write as the product of two roots. So we can say that that's going to be plus root 4 times by root 3. And that's useful because we know what the square root of 4 is. It's actually 2. So keep that root 3 as it is. But instead of the four, root 4 there, we can write 2 and still times the root 3 that we previously had. So if we add that together, we've got one root three here and we've got two root three there. So that will give us three root three overall. And so we can see that A is actually three. And we've done it. That's part A of that question. If we look at part B, we can see that we're asked to um, express one over root three all to power 7 in this form root b over c where b are b and c are integers which means integers means whole numbers okay so what we're going to do we're going to use a uh, a rule which is that if we've got x in a bracket um, that's to a power and there's a power also outside the bracket then we can multiply those two powers together. So that would give us x to the a times b. And if we look at a real number example, let's imagine we had x to the power 2 all to the power 3. We'd multiply the 2 and 3 together, and that would give us 6. So we get x to the power 6. So we can do that to this 1 over root 3. Um, uh, also, we will need to write the root 3 as an in index form or indices. So to do that, we would say that a root is actually 1 over 2. That's another way of writing the square root of 3 is 3 to the power half. So we've got 1 over 3 to the power half all to the power 7. And according to our first rule here, this one, we can multiply any powers inside the bracket by the 7 that's outside the bracket. So we can say, well, it's actually as though we've got a power 1 on the 1. We don't usually write it. But 7 times 1 is obviously 7. So that gives 1 to the power 7 on the top. And underneath, we've got a half times seven. So I'll do this to the side here. So we've got a half and then times seven. And it's useful to think of it as being seven over one. So that will give us seven over two. When we multiply the tops together to give seven and the two and the one together to give two. So that will give us three to the seven over two. Now, what I'm also going to do is try and write that in mixed fraction form. To do that, you would do a division. You divide the 7 by the 2, and you would say, well, how many times does it go into the 7? And it goes in three whole times, remainder 1. So that would mean that we've got... Um, it goes in three whole times and it's a half. So seven over two is three and a half. So what we can do, we can say 120 power is just one. And the power now on the three, written in a different way, is three and a half. And we're using quite a few little rules and tricks to do with indices here. Um, 
I'll just write this up here. So if we have an x to a power, let's say, a plus b, then we can actually separate that. We can say that would be x to the a times x to the b. And in the case of the three to three and a half, we've got three to the power three and a half. That's like having three plus a half there. So we could say, well, it's going to be three to the power three times by three to the power half. And we know that three to the power three means three times three times three, which is 27. And this index notation here means that's the square root of three. So we can say it's 27 times the square root of three. So that's actually our denominator here now. So that will turn into one over 27 root three. Now we're nearly there. Um, obviously, it's not quite in the form that we're looking for because we want the root to be on the top of the fraction. And this is something called rationalizing the denominator. OK, so to do that, we can simply multiply top and bottom of this fraction by root three. And the reason for that is because if I multiply a root by itself, the roots cancel. So just looking at root three times root three, what I mean is that root three times root three gives us actually three. So on the denominator here, we've got 27 times three when we multiply the roots. And on the top line, we've got one times root three. And so that gives us just root three. And we're nearly there, just one step away. We've got root three on the top. And we've just got to times 27 by three, which is 81. And we've done it. That's in the form that we're required. So it's uh, root B over C, where in this case, B is three and C is 81. So I hope that's been helpful. Um, if it has, we'd love it if you would like our page here, our, our video. And uh, for more help, subscribe to um, bestmathstutors.co.uk, which is our website for more tuition. Thanks for watching.